The soccer season gets underway this week for most local teams. As Jay Wilcox reports, the Maple Grove girls are aiming for a return trip to the state tournament. Maple Grove's made back-to-back -back state tournament appearances, the first two in program history. Yes, they lost some key scores to graduation, but the 2019 Crimson are still expecting good things. We have about 12, 12, 13 returners, so most of our team is back, but we lost, we did lose seven key players, but we, we just have such a strong program that we're gonna be able to fill in, fill in those people and get things done. Every year, I mean, even the past two years, I mean, we lost Meredith, who was a huge scorer, and then we lost Manon, but every year, new people stepping up into roles. Like, you know, last year, Brenna Saladin just came up and scored. Like, she's got a hat trick in the section final, and there's someone every year coming up and um, showing what they can do in scoring. So, yeah, I'm not worried at all. With key performers like Luca Ralph and Abby Schulte back, the Crimson have shown a good work ethic through tryouts and early practice sessions. It's a really good group of kids. Uh, that was one of the things that we were excited about, just watching them build through the week. Um, that's definitely going to be one of the strengths is their reliance on each other. One thing is for sure, Maple Grove won't face Centennial for a section title for a fifth straight season. Both teams have now moved out of Section 5AA. We're going to miss them. It's, it's definitely fun playing them every year. It's just it's a fun competition. It's always a good game against them, but um, we can always see them in the state tournament. So. Maple Grove's eager to shoot for a title in their new home in Section 8. Jay Wilcox, CCX Sports. Maple Grove opens the season with three straight road games, starting with St. Michael Albertville this Thursday. Their home openers against Centennial September 3rd.